Wanna move my feet Wanna drink my wine 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 Our dear subscribers, we are now at the next booth at uh, ProWine 2024. I'm greeting uh, Daniele from Italy. Hi, Daniele. Hi, hi, nice to meet you. Can you please tell us a bit about your company and, and about your product? Yeah, I mean, we are uh, Flea. We are the largest uh, craft beer in Italy. We have uh, 11 types of beer for this kind of brand. It's uh, a very good brand because it's very fancy bottle, uh, see screen printed. Uh, we have a two years shelf life, so a, a very good duration. Uh, and this is very, very good for the for uh, on trade market, so Oreca, restaurants, and something. We have uh, from the blonde to vice, blanche, IPA, red ale, Belgian strong ale, so many, many types. We have um, uh, not filtration, no pasteurization. Uh, we uh, don't. We ferment uh, our beer in, in the bottles, so two fermentations, and it's top fermented. Uh, we have 1.2 thousand hectares of uh, barley production fields in general, and also some of them are barley production. Uh, we also have uh, a very good business with the retail. This is the product for retail. We, we cover uh, uh, almost 100% of uh, retailers in Italy and we also work with, uh, with, um, with European retailers. Uh, so we have everything to, 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 to start in, in other countries. We are now in 40 countries, uh, mainly in Europe, but also in the US and in Asia. Uh, in China sometimes, so... If you uh, can tell us about your production dividing, how many percent of your products are selling on the local market and how many percent is going to the export? Uh, in, 20, uh, in 2019, uh, our export was about 5% and we produced like uh, 12,000 hectoliters. Now uh, we double the production, more than double because it's 30,000 30, hectoliters and our, uh, our export is almost 25%. So we are growing up and we are doing good business uh, in, uh, in several countries such as France, Spain, uh, Netherlands, Denmark, uh, UK, Germany also something. So uh, Some of the consumers, they most probably ask us the question, how difficult to be a beer producer in Italy? Yeah, yeah it's, it's difficult, but it's growing up. It's growing up, it's a trend. We have uh, this craft uh, culture is, is, is coming up. And uh, obviously, if you have uh, good quality, obviously the market uh, will, uh, will pay you back. And how you can uh, divide yourselves between the retail and the uh, distributors and the uh, direct sales? Uh, I mean, uh, we have the, the perfect product for retail, as I said, this one. For instance, uh, this is uh, a good pack that we have for retail, 33 centiliters. Uh, we also have uh, 75 and we also have 50 centiliters. So m this is a basket case, very perfect for the, for the, sa for the sales. So we have uh, key points to, to grow up. This uh, ProLine show, trade show, is uh, from the name, is mostly focused for the wine. But we are now with, the, with you at the hall, where we can see different drinks, let's say, alternative for the wine. How uh, big is your expectation from this trade show? Uh, actually, we are. Uh, it's our third uh, third uh, participation here. We are pretty satisfied. At least uh, the the other two uh, were satisfactory for us. Now we will see, but uh, we have good expectations. Good expectations. And uh, which markets are you planning to target in next five years? 
I would say Europe still remain the, 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 good, the good target for us, but also Asia would be a nice, uh, a, a nice target for us. And uh, when you go to these exhibitions, do you get an, a, any inspiration for your product when you watch the competition? Yeah, sometimes I, we can get some inspiration. Yeah, sometimes uh, good, uh, good products uh, and, and and some ideas. Yeah. And uh, uh, I'm wondering how difficult to take a part of the market for the craft beer. Can you share your experience? Yeah, I mean, we, uh, we started in uh, uh, 2013, uh, the trend uh, was, uh, uh, was very good uh, uh, those days, uh, now it's is, is coming a bit, uh, a bit uh, you know, is, is decre not decreasing, but it's going flat, but actually we are uh, a big, uh, a big part, a big player. Uh, so we, due to our uh, investments, uh, we are still uh, able to grow up. I think that now our watchers will ask us one important question. Uh, if I go to the supermarket and I see all these worldwide known brands, if I see the, our local brands, why I should make my choice for Bira Flair? Yeah, I mean... Uh, Birra Flea is definitely not in the supermarket, as I told you, but uh, here you can see the, the, the colorful brands for, uh, for supermarkets, high quality, high quality, but uh, at the same time, at the same time, uh, uh, colorful, colorful labels, uh, very easy, very fresh, uh, and, uh, you know, very, very nice bottles, colorful and visible. So this is a key point for us. And uh, do you consume yourself your product? Yeah, sometimes yes. <laughs> and what is your favorite from all this? I actually my, my personal my personal favorite is uh, the red ale. Red ale because it's uh, uh, it's very strong, but in the same time it's easy drinking, easy drinking. And from this all uh, twelve flavors uh, what is the most salt uh, the, the blonde ale the blonde ale easy easy drinking beer all right uh, I want to say you grazie mille for grazie, this uh, grazie prego. interview uh, it's very interesting uh, I wish you best of luck because I cannot really imagine how to be successful with beer in the Italy thank but you, you, thank you did it I wish you to sign many good contracts doesn't thank matter you. big medium or uh, small thank you but it should be good contracts and I hope that uh, our platform win win market will help you to grow in the sales and discover new markets thank you thank you very much thank you very much it's been a pleasure. Ciao.